Here's another pie-crustable solution. The background is from www.pptback.com. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is distribute. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is take 2 times 4x and 2 times negative 3. So here's our equation. And the first thing we need to do is distribute. So we're going to take 2 times 4x and 2 times negative 3. This gives us 8x minus 6 because 2 times 4x is 8x. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And we're going to leave everything else alone. Our next step is to collect like terms. So what I did is I took negative 6 plus negative 8, and that's negative 14. So the next step is to get all of the x's on one side and all of the numbers on the other side. And we do that by adding and subtracting. So the first thing I did was subtracted 2x from both sides. So we end up with 6x minus 14 equals 4, because remember, 2x minus 2x is 0. Our next step is to get 6x by itself. So I added 14 to both sides. So we end up with 6x equals 18. Remember, negative 14 plus 14 is 0. And our final step is to divide both sides by the number in front of the variable. So the number in front of our variable is 6. So we're going to divide by 6. And it turns out that x equals 3. Super. But let's check the answer just to make sure. Our first step is to substitute 3 into all of the x's. So as you see, I put 3 in for that x and 3 in for that x. Now we're going to simplify both sides. So 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6. 12 minus 3 is 9. And then 4 plus 6 is 10. 2 times 9 is 18. And then 4 plus 6, of course, is 10, so we don't have anything else to do right there. 18 minus 8 is 10, and 10 equals 10, and yay! x equals 3 is the correct answer. We're awesome! Thank you! Another great question answered from a Fiverr customer. Did you like how I solved this one? Well, guess what? If you check out my Fiverr account, I can solve one just like this for you. Check out the link below. Also check out the link to get the background.